All right, so welcome to the video. I wanted to show in this video how to convert, basically capturing a document through either pictures or if you want, you can take several pictures and then convert it just to one single PDF file. So how do we do that? Well, there are basically two ways that I'm gonna show you. And one of them is using a scanner app. And so that's the one that you see. And that's this one right here. And the other way is just, if you don't wanna be downloading any apps or anything like that, you can actually do it for free online. And that is right there. Now, both of these two are free. Of course, you can get the paid versions if you like, but for what we wanna be able to do, you actually do not have to pay for these. So let's try to show you, okay, how to actually convert pictures or uh, take a document that maybe you've taken up, maybe a test or something like that, and you're converting it just to one file. All right, so the first one, you obviously have to download the app. So this is on an iPad, okay, and it is based uh, on an Apple product or iPhone the same. If you don't have it, you can of course go into the online version, which is the reason why I'm gonna explain that online version of using the website smallpdf.com. Okay, so let's try the first one. And so that is this photos to PDF. So I have downloaded it. Uh, it is free, as I said, so I'm gonna open it up. And now what we have is you can take photos or whatever it is. Now I wanna be able to scan a document and put it into just one PDF. So this is what I'm gonna hit. So scanning and notice that what it does is it actually opens up your camera and it will ask you if you can do that camera. And now, so what you see is it's scanning it up. Okay, so notice it took a picture. So that's the first one that I had. I'm gonna, let's say if I had multiple Okay, so that is the second one that I had. And let's say this is the third page. All right, so that's the third one. So now at the bottom, okay, so I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so it is now saving it for me. And I have these three pages. Now you can actually edit them if you like. So if you hit on the top, right in corner, edit, so you can delete some of the pages if you don't want them. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all of them. And then all you do is just create a PDF. Now, what's great is you just give it a name. So if this was a test assignment or something like that, let's say, I don't know, math. Okay, so we'll put a test. And you can put in your name. Okay, if you wanted to submit it. All right, so go. So now it is creating it for us and there we have it. Now, once you click on it, this is how you can actually share it. You can even sign it if you want to. Um, so what we would do is we would wanna be able to share it. So that share button is actually at the bottom of the screen, which um, you can't see very well. Okay, so you can hit the actual share and there you have it. So you can share it to save it to a file send it to yourself, do whatever it is that you wanna do. So that is one way, and you have now one copy that you wanted. So now, so let me get rid of this. Now, the other way of doing exactly the same thing without doing any apps is you can visit smallpdf.com. So I've used this website, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here. So we wanna take JPEG, so basically transform any pictures in various formats into PDF. Now, it won't be as pretty as the previous one, okay, because that is a special app that actually captures and I love that app. Now, so here, once I do that, you can choose your files. And now in this case, if you, you can literally take pictures with your phone or, or tablet or whatever it is, and then just go to the photo library if you wanted, or you can just take the photo itself, okay, so right off the bat. So yes, we're gonna allow it to use the camera, okay, and now, so we do have to be a little, so this is a little clunkier than the other one, so let's say that this was, you know, one of the pages, okay, so I'm 
doing the last page here and doesn't have to be perfect you can you know do the pages as you like so here I'm just gonna take two okay so use that photo and now I'm gonna be uploading it so as you can see it on the screen it is uploading so now we're gonna be able to hit add more and now so choose file so if you want more pictures so take a photo and now let's say we wanted to take another picture again I'm not taking these perfectly so let's say this was that I'm gonna use that photo and let's imagine that this was enough okay so I had two now you can of course do okay several more photos or slides that you wanted and now all you do is you create PDF now once it creates the PDF you can download this PDF and you can save it again save to device save it to wherever it is that you want and once you save it then you can rename it because the name that this website gives is kind of odd and then you have it so you have two different ways of doing these so i love using the scanner app which is photos pdf and you can actually obtain it it is free and unless you want to do some other fancy stuff now the online conversion one is the second way that you can actually convert any pictures or a document back into one pdf and it's super useful if you're submitting assignments or tests or anything of that nature to your teachers profs whoever it may be or you just want to send it off to somebody okay all right so i hope that you found this useful thank you for watching and we'll see you in one of the other future videos okay cheers hit a like if you found it helpful